Hey guys, Frank here, Godzilla Island, with another review of Godzilla Monsters and Protectors, All Hail the King, this time number four. Um, I've been blowing through this comic the last couple weeks. I was way behind at first. I read the first issue the when it first came out. Second and third, I let blow me by a little. I was just backed up, and now I've read two, three, and four this week. Uh, my... Reviews are popping up, and um, you can look out for five for sure once I get that. But um, let's talk about issue four. The cover here, awesome. You got Godzilla, Ghidorah facing off. And to be honest, I did not notice until I had this in my hand. I thought they were fighting in like an undersea cave. This is the silhouette of King Shiza. Um, you, you see the tail there. I didn't realize until it was in my hand that... They weren't underwater in some cave. <laughs> that it was between King Shiza's legs and it was his tail here. Really cool. He still does not make an appearance yet. They have teased him throughout the whole series so far. But he doesn't make an appearance. Last we left off, King Ghidorah was running around the world out of control. The Zellians were no longer in control of him. Godzilla was injured in the battle with King Ghidorah. King Ghidorah was also injured, but not as bad as Godzilla. Um, and then we cut back to another one of Cedric's um, dreams. This one's a little more elaborate. It's like uh, he's sliding through the hallways of his school, so proud that they summoned Godzilla. And he thinks they beat King Ghidorah. And he's like, yeah, Godzilla's running around. He... We sent them away, and he said, we took King Ghidorah to school, and they're like, where did you take them? And in the dream, they're like, to school, and then King Ghidorah busts through the school window and eats them alive in the dream. Pretty pretty dark dream, but uh, it was just a dream. Then uh, this one, it's not a lot of Godzilla, King Ghidorah action. It's a lot of dialogue. They, they go back to school, the kids, Karen's there with them, and June, May and June summon them back to... Um, Mothra's Island to uh, talk to him again saying the Ghidorah is running rampant and the only thing on its mind is destruction. Ghidorah wants to be the only living being left on Earth. Um, they're really like you gotta try to summon Godzilla again and Karen needs to try and summon her guardian which with the teasers we all know is King Caesar, King Caesar whatever you guys want to call him. Um so, basically, they pass out in the middle of an exam, and we just kind of cut. We see King Ghidorah's recovering on his island, sleeping, but wakes up while they're talking to the twins. And the Zillions are still like, yeah, we. it's too dangerous to even try to reattach the mind control device to King Ghidorah. Uh, and they, they mention that although they don't have King Ghidorah, that they're going to flag for help from the home planet. And um, they call for... They say they're going to call for something called the Mechanoids. So my theory is... And then my theory is that the Mechanoids is going to be the next villain for the next arc. I think, I think this arc is going to end in a cliffhanger. I... My assumption is they're going to beat King Ghidorah. King Jesus is going to come. They're going to beat King Ghidorah. And right as they beat him, maybe we're going to get a Mecha Godzilla or some. Maybe it's a different Mecha. Mecha. Maybe it's not Mecha Godzilla. Or maybe they're going to come with a Mecha Godzilla and rebuild King Ghidorah into Mecha King Ghidorah. But basically, the kids at the end, after that little theory tangent, kids at the end. Wake up in class and she's like, yeah, we're just daydreaming through your whole test. And they tell her, oh, King Ghidorah is going to come attack soon. And she's like, don't make up things like that. And then, boom, Kaiju warning on her phone. King Ghidorah is attacking Japan again. And uh, they all get in a circle trying to summon Godzilla. And uh, Karen here, she's trying to summon King Shiza. And you see, he begins to rise out. And our last image is King Caesar, King Caesar himself. And then there's a little preview of the issue five cover here. But um, I'm excited to see him back in action. 
Um, I, I what I've really liked about this series, we haven't s- seen them in this issue or the last issue, but the first couple issues, we got we got a little Godzilla versus Gabra fight in the Vision. So I don't know if that was a future Vision or if it already happened, but I would like to see Godzilla actually fight Gabra. That's not a dream. Um, let me know what you guys think the Mechanoids are. You think it's going to be Mecha Godzilla, Makani Kong, a Mecha King Ghidorah? Maybe it's going to be another Mecha Kaiju we've never seen before. But um, I strongly think that the Mechas will be the next story arc for Godzilla Monsters and Protectors. I absolutely love what they've done with All Hail the King. I have been very vocal that I wasn't a massive fan of Rise Up. I liked it. But it absolutely was not my favorite. But they have absolutely crushed it with this All Hail the King arc. I I love it. I really love this arc. And I can't wait to see what comes next. Um, Just uh, if you guys want to catch up, you still have time. Issue 5 is coming out next month. So you still have a little time on that. By the time this video is up, it's going to be this month. It'll probably be February by now. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. We are going to be back very soon with full-length shows, guys. So uh, we're going to be having a lot more content on the channel. I mean, we're kind of trying to crank out content as it is. But we're going to kick it into high gear soon, guys. So thanks for watching.